So what did you do after that? And how did you kind of come up with the cast or who, who did yeah. you meet first? And how did that kind of develop? Sure. So um, they actually really didn't give me the green light because again, back then it was like, oh, okay, you know, it was more of a, it was more of a, um, a word kind of, he kind of gave me his, hmm, okay, sure, you know, go ahead. And I remember saying, give me three weeks. I tell people that part very, very, um, very intentionally because if I had not driven forward with what I was saying, it would have easily got lost and been back to why we were there, right? And I remember saying, give me three weeks. And he said, okay. And again, we're still pursuing Don Peace, but that three weeks for me, I knew whether it was gonna take me four or six or two, me saying and giving a clear direction on my intention was really important because he paid attention, right? He said, oh, okay. And so that's what I did. I went home. Mm -hmm. And um, I said, okay, who do I know? And I called a makeup artist named Alicia Brown. I love her. Uh, she was a makeup artist in the industry, had been working for years, knew everybody. Her and Derek J worked together uh, a lot. They okay. both knew everybody. Okay. So I, yeah, I called her and we kind of talked about people in Atlanta. And she, she led me to a lady named Carla Miles. Um, Carla was actually in season one very briefly. And okay. Carla simply said, hey, you know, I know some people. I, I said, hey, who do you know? Which was something I always did right. because I interviewed, right. which people don't know, I interviewed a lot of people during that time. Um, but Carla said, hey, I have a, I know a, a lady who is behind the gates. She's fabulous. You know, she definitely, it has a great personality. You might like her. Go meet her. Her name right. is Nina Weeks. So Nini was my second interview, and I remember walking in her house. She had wine in one hand. She was wearing a, a baseball cap and fatigue, uh, fatigue pants, and she was just so much fun. And I remember her, you know, just pouring everything out and letting me know who she was. She was, she was exactly who she is in terms of she really gave you who she was. She wasn't afraid to let people know her good side, bad side, everything. And I remember loving that so much that I said, well, who are your friends? And she said, oh right. girl, I got all kinds of fabulous friends. She kind of ran down the list. Yes, honey. And I said, cause if I could find your friends, I'm golden. And um, she said, she, she named Trey, she named, um, Deshaun, who Deshaun was on my list before, but she definitely named her. She named Deshaun. She named uh, she named Kim Zolziak, who ended up being, you know, definitely one of the stars of the show. Um, and I remember even that I right. said, uh, well, you know, I'm looking for, but she said, well, this ain't your average white girl. And I remember like, okay, you know, we'll see. And so, yeah, that's really right. the condensed form. And then Lisa Wu had come on at the last um, hour, pretty much. But yeah, that's it. I went over and I met the, the other ladies. I interviewed them myself. I didn't have okay. true entertainment. It was just okay. me <laughs> and a hundred dollar day cameraman. And I did it. I just made it work, interviewed all the women, again, without knowing really what I was doing, putting together and um, really developing these, um, these interviews that turned into storylines. Okay. which is a really important part of this of, of the story because people always say, well, where did they get all these ideas from to kind of put together what the show was going to look like? Well, it was from the interviews. And so again, I had the presence okay. of mind to do that. And um, yeah, so, you know, I, I do want to say as well, Nini was so instrumental in the confidence I had in that uh, time because she really believed in it. A lot of people didn't. And I always want to give her that shout out and that credit um, or the credit really, because she really believed right. in it. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this. So you get the cast together and then what you take that concept back to the, the gentleman that you had the meeting with and you said, Hey, these are, this is the cast I'm looking at. No. Or did you Yeah, no. So what happened was during that time, um, you know, I said, give me the three weeks and I was interviewing women and sending the tapes to LA. So okay. I was literally interviewing, couriering the tapes, interviewing, couriering the tapes. And, um, you know, listen, I think that even, even that part of the story is looking back on it, I probably would have did things different. I would have had it all and then said, hey, you know, and packaged it and 
got things together for myself as a producer. But listen, I rolled off a tomato truck from Canada and was like, hey, I'm here. The train is moving. I'm on it. So, you know, no, I was sending the tapes over. They cut them um, or they cut them more in LA. And yeah, they kind of just were like, oh, this, this is great. And just kept coming and coming. And less than three months later, we were.